move to the next award, we wanted to mark this 10th anniversary by sharing with you the thoughts of our panel of esteemed BASA judges who all play a pivotal role in deciding who the recipients of one of these prestigious trophies is. It's always an incredible experience being a judge here at BASA. I just am amazed by the strength and depth of the categories and the standard of the entrance and again for 2010 it's no different. It's always been a very difficult process but I think what we're seeing is um, such a wide variety of different fields now and that's great to see. Asian parents only wanted their children to have degrees and uh, become a doctor and lawyer is certainly being shattered because the, uh, the level of people who are being put forward for these awards is astonishing. All these people have achieved so much and they're groundbreaking individuals as well so to try and separate at the end of the day is a bit of a thankless task but uh, you'd like to think between us judges and the public voting you'll get to the, you know, to the, to the winners eventually. We're not only giving them a platform where they can showcase uh, their work, their achievements, we're now uh, working with the associations, with the organizations who are willing to help them throughout the year in terms of showing them the way they should be going, professional help, uh, financial help in terms of you know, supporting their coaching and training. A lot of women coming through and coming through in sports where normally you didn't have Asians figuring, like sometimes football and things like that, and that is very, very reassuring. The judges that were in the room just now have all come from pretty different backgrounds. So you've got somebody who's won an Olympic medal, uh, you've got somebody who's played cricket for so many years in Mark Ramprakash and at the highest level too. Uh, you've got a seasoned journalist in Mahir Boast and someone like me who's a journalist too but on the other side of the age spectrum so I come into it with a slightly fresher pair of eyes. In one or two categories perhaps there was outstanding uh, achievement but in, in most of the categories it was close and we had to think long and hard about the achievement. What impressed me about a lot of these candidates that are coming through and these, these achieve, the people up for achievement is that they've managed to combine both their studies and sport and so fantastic role models not just for youngsters and their participants themselves but also their families. It's a tough job being a judge um, but we do our best to, to sort of hopefully make the right decision. A lot of thought's gone into this so we've deliberated long and hard and we, I think we've got there. The profile of people we have, it, it's growing as the event and as the initiative is growing in the last nine years from where it started. And you know, we're celebrating 10th year in, in, in style this year.